The topic of this video is going to be oh, a guided tour and discussion of all your different options regarding a medium length heavy chopping tool. All right, and this is going to be uh, in terms of bushcraft, wilderness survival, as well as just weekend camping, as well as military use, uh, including possible hand to hand, uh, as well as uh, the proverbial, you know, zombie apocalypse, end of the world, etc. All right, going through each category, uh, we have a tomahawk, also representing hatchets, a dow pattern heavy machete, a barong. Uh, Engineer's Bolo, also representing parangs, Nepalese Kukuris, Thai Enep, uh, and two heavy machetes, a Caribbean Bolo uh, and a Panga design Imakasa machete. All right, and as we talk about this, I'm just going to give you some eye candy here, some flybys and close ups of these uh, beautiful pieces of steel. All right, now I, I would divide. Uh, choppers into four different categories. All right, first you have uh, tomahawks, hatchets. Uh, next you have uh, the forward swept designs, uh, kukuris, the eneps. Right? And then you also have uh, backward swept designs, including that engineer bolo there, and also uh, parangs and uh, some galak designs. And lastly, there are just the ones that are more or less straight up and down. Right? For example, the barong and that dow pattern heavy machete there. Uh, you know, those designs, basically the handle and the blade are in line with each other. All right? And each of, you know, each of those designs has its own benefits and drawbacks, all right? But your skills are going to matter more than trying to find um, an ultimate design. You know, every single one of these designs works. They've been proven around the world, you know. Uh, tomahawks in North America, uh, the machetes all over the Southern Hemisphere, etc. So, you know, don't worry about are any of these designs bad. Now, they've all worked in uh, their historical environments, so to speak. All right, so your skill in using it as a tool is going to be more of a deciding factor. And the same goes for weapon or hand-to-hand -hand use. Okay, uh, a, a capable combatant should be able to cause great damage with any, any of these designs. All right, all right let's just talk a little bit about uh, each category. Uh, first of all, closest to you is the Trench Hawk by Cold Steel, and above it is the Cold Steel Rifleman's Hawk. Uh, tomahawks are extremely efficient. They're the most top-heavy of all these designs, because obviously, um, you know, the shaft is wood or synthetic, all right, the shaft not being metal. A lot of the weight is concentrated towards uh, almost the very end of the implement. It's going to let you generate the most power for the least strength. All right, so that's particularly useful if you're tired, if you're exhausted, if you're sick, or if you're injured, okay? Proven in North America, the tomahawk. All right, these are the Dow pattern uh, heavy choppers, all right? Uh, the one above, well, <laughs> farthest from you, I should say, that's an Aranyak Narong, okay? And it's also a pole machete. Below that, uh, that's actually a Master Cutlery Jungle Machete. It's actually the same as the Hibben Rambo Machete. Uh, however, the words Hibben and Rambo are not written anywhere <laughs> on it. And I also had the edge reprofiled there. The benefits of these, uh, simplicity and the same benefit of um, as a meat cleaver, okay? That perfectly straight edge. It's good for certain types of cuts. If you've ever used a meat cleaver, I think you know it. You know what I mean. Uh, very good for shearing type cuts. All right. Ah, the Filipino barongs. Okay, these are the Chris Cutlery barongs. Very good company. Now, a barong, as far as a chopper, is a compromise design. Okay, because the sweet spot for a chop on a barong, it's right around maybe sixty to seventy percent. Uh, 
towards the tip of that blade. And so, you know, the extra 35 odd percent of the length uh, is really just there to make it pointed, which is not helping in your chops, but it does allow you to use it as a pointed short sword. Basically, you can use this as a gladius in addition to its chopping. All right, uh, closest to you, that is the Condor Bushcraft Parang, and above that is the Engineer's Bolo. Now, uh, this category is going to represent any backswept design. Now, why would you sweep sweep an edge back? Well, first of all, the curve they uh, the curve to that edge is useful for other stuff besides chopping. Uh, for example, skinning something. All right, you know why is why does a katana uh, have a curve? You know be, because it's useful uh, for you know biomechanical cutting, basically slicing and so forth. Uh, being swept back also, it makes your swing longer, which gives you more time to accelerate, more time to build up more power. Okay, it's, it's like a scimitar. All right, so the back swept design can generate more power, although you're going to have to turn, you're going to have to turn into it more. All right, and you know, it's just going to be more work for you because it's more swing, uh, but it does give a a nice payoff, all right, for the effort and energy put in. All right, the Nepalese Kukuris. Now, first of all, remember, these have been issued in wartime to the Gurkhas and used, so they are very formidable in terms of hand-to-hand -hand weapons. All right, uh, the bottom one is the 5 Chira model, all right, and the top one is the GI issue Kukuri. Now, with a forward swept design like this, it makes your swing uh, shorter, okay? It abbreviates your swing. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, because with a shorter swing, it just means your, your next swing is going to come that much faster, okay? So it allows you um, shorter swings, but a larger number of swings in a shorter period of time, okay? So it, it turns you into uh, basically just a a rapid uh, chopping machine, as it were, and these uh, these are excellent chopping implements. All right, uh, the tie design, the ENEP, all right, these are Aranyak ENEPs. Now, Aranyaks are sold out at the moment, so don't panic, okay? Um, you will know when they get a new shipment in just by checking their YouTube page, the Amazon store, all right, and their website, okay? So, you know, when they get new ones in, you will see on those three sites. Now, as you can see, the ENEP is uh, a relative of a Kukuri, right, but the tips are different. The tip on an ENEP is much more in a straight line with the handle. Uh, the result is that uh, you thrust differently. Uh, with a Kukuri, you kind of have to arc the thrust, all right? Uh, whereas with the ENEP, you, you basically it's just a much more straightforward thrust all right but uh many of the same benefits as the kukuri and the heavy machetes all right uh the bottom one caribbean bolo all right and above that is a penga design now these are both imakasa machetes from el salvador uh and what you can't see is that is that these are actually significantly thicker uh, than your typical Latin machete and, and you can see they are wider. I mean these are massive. Uh, that panga you see has three fullers there. Blade length on these is between 14 and 15 inches. Right? And these are pretty scary because they might not hit as hard as some of these uh, other designs but they hit very hard uh, especially when you consider the speed that these have. All right, so a little bit of both worlds. Uh, medium heavy choppers uh, would be incredible uh, anti-zombie implements. Let's just say that, I think you can see. All right, so in conclusion, well, it looks like you have a lot of options and most of these options are very good. I think what it comes down to all right, aside from, you know, what is your skill set there, um, it comes down to what scenario you want. Uh, for example, 
if you're thinking more possibly military, even even hand-to-hand -hand combat scenario, well then the the barong starts to look better because it has a, a lot of thrusting ability. Uh, the terrain also matters. Obviously, you know tomahawks have proven themselves in the northern hemisphere. All right, so a lot of it depends more on uh, what scenario you're going into. You know, do do you want something that only chops? Do you want a multitasking thing? All right, a, a parang or barong is, is a classic multitasker. All right, and for that matter, the hatchet, you know, can be used as a hammer. Uh, some of them have uh, picks in back. All right, some of them even have a, a crowbar built in, all right? Um, but yes, I mean, many different options for you. And, you know, as I said, these have all been proven around the world, all right? Don't worry, what's the best one? Um, <laughs> you, you want to be the best one. In other words, you want to be... Uh, the most skilled in their use. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for many more and here we have an outtake. Alright, let's go out with this um, blooper. Ah yes. Yes, a North American feline sniffing to make sure make sure that these are friendly implements. Alright YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy.